Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're playing a brand new game on Steam called Power World. And today we're going to be playing with the UEVR injector mod from Preydog. This game I think is going to be super popular. It's only just been released. It's already one of the top selling games. The game's only been out a few hours and it's already got very positive reviews. I'm not a big fan of Pokemon. Apparently this game's like a Pokemon action adventure survival type game. I'm going to dive in with the mod I tested this morning and it's working. So let's have some fun, let's dive in. Today I'm playing on the Quest 3. I'm using the virtual desktop streamer on my PC. I'm using virtual desktop on the Quest 3 and I'm using the link cable as well to uh, record the footage and virtual desktop does recognize the cable as well. So this is a proper connection to my PC. I can see virtual desktop in my headset. So we're going to run the game. I'm just playing a normal game. I'm not playing multiplayer. I don't know what this mod is going to be like. Multiplayer. You might need to chat the uh, UE Discord before you jump into a multiplayer game. You don't want to get banned from playing the game. I'm just playing the normal game. Okay, let me go to my desktop. Find UEVR. Okay, and we need to select Power World from here. Open XR and then inject. And that's it, I'm in the game. I'm not using no profiles, this is the uh, default injection of the mod. And it just works. I've um, set up some options already. So graphics, I've gone for a presets on uh, medium. Motion blur we want off. I've got my textures on high. DLSS is on performance mode. Camera shaker's off. I think that's it. That's all I've changed really. Okay, I made a character this morning. We're going to jump in, start a new game. And that's it. I'm in VR. I'm in the game. You can play the game with the motion controllers. So this is on medium settings. And it's on medium settings so that I get a really nice video for you guys to watch. If I was not recording the gameplay, I would have this on the high settings. I've got a 3080 Ti graphics card. So it's telling me to uh, pick up fallen branches or hit trees to get some wood. Uh, this is my little elf type character. Green skin, yellow hair. Why not? And it was a random choice character. So we need to find a tree and as you can see this is like VR, I'm in the game. This is a third person mode but you can mess around with the UEVR menu and go into a first person mode. First things first though with UEVR I always go to set standing height, set standing origin and recenter view. Normally I like to play these games with the Xbox Game Pass, so if I have any issues with like uh, items, picking things up, then I'm going to use the Xbox Game Pass because it's got a lot more buttons on it. It's got like the D-pad. You can emulate the D-pad with the controllers, you just need to know where the, the thumb rest sensor is. So you have to rest your thumb over one of the sensors you can't see on here, and then the, uh, the buttons act like the D-pad. There's a chest here. I've got some loot, a copper key. Press the right button to throw a sphere and capture a pal. Weakened pals are easier to catch. So very similar to like Pokemon, you, it looks like you throw your, that's punch. There we go, so you throw that at the uh, creatures and then you can capture them. How's the recording for you guys? Let me just make sure it's smooth. I do apologise if the uh, video jutters a little bit. It only jitters when I move the headset weird. In the headset this is super smooth. So we need to go and find some wood. And I'm in the world of Pal. The windswept hills. 3D is really really good. It just works. I do believe this is like an Unreal 5 engine game. 
The backdrops look amazing, they really do. Is that a person there? There's a guy here with a camp or a lady. Hello, who's that? Talk. I've got no sound again. Damn it. I did not hear what she was saying. Pick up branches, there's like a, uh, what's this? Fast travel. Okay. I need to hit a tree. There we go. Punch the tree. As you saw, this is like a default installation of new EVR. I've not had to mess around with any settings, really. Okay, bash the tree. I've got some wood. I've got some fibre now. And if you want to play the game in third person mode, this is just going to work. If you want to experiment and try first person mode, then you're going to have to go into the options menu. You need to um, select show advanced options. There's a, there's a chicken. If I go down to main, common objects, acknowledge pawn. We can now try to attach the camera to the person. So I am now inside that person, look. Well, I'm too far down, so I need to move the camera. If I hold down both triggers on my right controller, I get this prompt. I can now use my thumbstick to move the camera forwards, up or down, look. So I can actually move, so I'm like in her face, and I can see her eyeballs, or his eyeballs, there, look. If I look down, I've got a body now. I just put myself into the character in first person mode. Just like that. So can I play the game like this? Okay, so if I move though, I can still see the mesh. Ideally, I want to get rid of that mesh. I want to hide my body. So that when I move, I can't see it. So let me try and find the mesh. Head mesh. We need to make it invisible. So has the head disappeared? There we go, look. The head's disappeared, but now we've got the hair. And I saw here, look, hair mesh. I'm going to make that invisible as well. And then we're going to go back to the uh, character here, attached to. Uh, let me do the Standing height, standing origin, recent view. There we go. I am now in first person mode. I can see my arms moving around when I walk in 3D. How cool is this? And you just saw how easy that was. There, look. There's my body running around with no head. I can just see my hands doing that. If I wanted to, I can move the camera a bit further back or further up. Okay, do we uh, grab the wood? Grab the wood. Okay, we need to find some creatures to capture, don't we? Okay, can we capture these sheep? I need to find some spheres. Hello there. Are you friendly? A lamb ball. Now my camera is moving with the right thumbstick so I'm going to try to attach my head to the horizon so that the game world only moves in my headset and not with the uh, controllers. So again, bring up the uh, UEVR menu, go to camera and uh, decouple pitch, we need to select enabled. So now, 
when I move my right thumbstick up, it only moves the menu up and down, it's not moving the world. And I can use my head, just like a normal VR game, to look around. This game has got a day-night cycle. You have unused stat points. I want to pick this thing up first, there's something glowing here. Uh, we can pick up the berries. Okay. So the buttons are working on the uh, controllers. Okay, so we need to open the menu. We have some gold coins. We have some wood. A copper key. All the buttons are working so far to move through the menus. A PAL box. So the PAL box is for storing captured PALs. I need one of these to capture the animals. I need more stone. Okay. So I need to uh, get some stone. It says I'm hungry. So let me grab all the stone. There's something glowing over there, look. I'm getting cold. I've just seen the ice appear around my menu. Look at the moon. I can see my health going down. I'm hungry and cold. So can I eat the berries? Okay, that's my health going up. I've had some berries. Go back. Go back into technology. It's telling me to build one of these. It's unlocked. So now I need to go into my D-pad to get to the build menu. I'm not having much joy, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to use the uh, Xbox controller. It's going to be a bit easier for me to play the game. Xbox 360 time. Let's go straight into the build menu with the, uh, the D-pad power box. That's going to go there. X to build. And we're building it. Completed. Okay, let's build a workbench here. So when you're cold, that menu does get in the way a bit. Okay, so the sun's starting to appear. And um, I'm no longer cold. Technology, we need to unlock this thing here. I need some more wood. And I need um, one of those Paldium fragments. Which are the blue ones. I need to try to find one of those blue things. These games, I tend to play them third person anyway. This is a bonus, being able to play in the first person mode. Can I capture these? Do I... Hit them. I can't capture them, so I'm punching these sheep. We do have a button to jump and everything. These guys are aggressive. I've leveled up. Oh, he's dead. Okay. So I can see the health of the uh, characters. Once I've um, defeated them, can I collect them? So it says I've got no pals, look. I've got no characters at all. I need one of those blue crystals. So we're going to leave these guys here. Look at this world. Oh, wow. What is that down there? Are those the crystals I need? Oh, hello. There's a person here. Are these the crystals I need? There's some down there. I've got some, yes. So I need... I need more stone now. Look at this guy. Hello. 
big green dinosaur stone if I wasn't recording this game for you guys I'd be messing around with the settings to get the game looking um, higher quality for me stone we need three stone okay where's my base up here can we jump up here I can I don't want to get lost did I start up here there's like a blue area here look so I must that must be my base up there I think I fell too far can I jump up here I can climb the rocks that's cool there we go we can craft that So now we should be able to capture the sheep. Oh, I missed. Did I waste that? I wasted it. I lost it. It's gone. Well, that's annoying. Okay, it's time to go farming, I think. If I hold down the left thumbstick, I can run. So I need, I need plenty of those crystals. I need these. These are hard to break, so maybe I can find some just lying around. Something over here, look. What's this? I got something. Purple chest. Okay, I got three of the orbs. And I'm hungry, so I need some berries. Let me find some food. This is all a learning process for me. Let me explore. Can I drop down here and not die? I can. What's that? Scroll. Leather. This looks like a big expansive world to play in. Okay, head back to the base. Look at the chickens. Hello chick chick. <laughs> I can see my base on the hood. What's this? A lift monk effigy. And we're going to climb the rocks. That looks so awesome and epic. Looking down at my body. Try again. Okay, I do have two now. Okay, let's try this sheep here. We're going to attack it. And then when it's really low, we're going to try and capture it, okay? So now it's low. Got him! Captured one. We have a lamb ball. And again, I wasted one. His friend's not happy. Oh, I do have one more. Okay. I've got two now. I've captured two. 
Sorry guys, I've just captured your friend. Access the PAL box and summon a PAL to your base. We've got a land ball level 1, so we can summon them now. Okay, I can move him to the base lot. Select him, drag him down into the base. And this one as well. It looks like we can only have one at a time, we need to upgrade. Piles without beds will get stressed. So he needs a bed. Open menu, lift, I can throw him, unlock the campfire so that we've got some heat in the night, we need a bed don't we, a shoddy bed, I need some more fibre, I'm building a wooden club, hello where are you going? Handheld torch, stone pickaxe. I'm just building everything I can. That's the torch. I still need to work out how to get this guy to um, farm for me. He's supposed to go out farming like wooden things. Current mission is to build a wooden chest. These guys will help me defend my base as well. So you do get like random attacks and these guys will defend your base for you. We can build a campfire. These guys are helping to build look. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Okay, I'm getting some stone now. I'm no longer cold or hungry. Okay, we can build this now. Uh, let's put it over here. Are you guys going to build it? Thank you. Okay, current mission complete. Open security settings. You can put a password on the chest. Look at the moon. The moon's coming up. So we have an upgrade for the power box. Base upgrade. Why? We can upgrade our base up have more workers and we can build a shoddy bed as well okay shoddy bed we need some more wood we can now build a bed for our creatures there we go and we're going to place it here What am I missing? We need to build it indoors. Okay, I do believe I can add another pal as well to the uh, to the base now. So this guy can join us as well. Nice. So we now have two pals at the base. Hopefully, the Y button changes your weapons look in your inventory. That's my pickaxe my club and my flames so we need to look into building a house so we can make some beds oh here we go a wooden structure we need wood to uh... so can we now start to build a base Foundations. 
Here we go. So we can actually build a base here, look. Uh, add a wall on there. We're going to have a scenic view of the mountains. Do I need more wood? Can I put the bed on here now? There's a chicken there. Now if I wanted to be really adventurous, I could add the uh, my hands to my motion controllers. But I'm not going to have time in this video to do that. I showed you a few basics how to get to like first person mode. That's going to have to do for now. But as you can see this game is quite playable in VR with this mod. Here we go. A bed for my creatures. Okay, you guys come and make your bed. Okay, so we're going to attack a creature so that you can see that these guys are going to help you. And I think your base gets attacked by other creatures randomly, so these guys will protect your world. So let's go guys, let's go kill something and then we'll, I'll end the video. Let's go get a chicken. Okay, bash the chicken. Are you guys not helping me? There's nobody in my party. Okay, I need to go back and select my pals and then add them to my party. And then we can go hunting. Okay, grab him, put him in my party. Grab this guy. Put him in my party. I think he's leveled up, yeah. He's leveled up, look. Let's go. Try again. Let's try to attack one of these creatures here, look. These pink things. Something here to pick up. Some wool. So can I attack these guys? Like a cat creature. Come on guys, where's my sheep? A ninja cat. He killed me. You get. We died. Where's my help, guys? I forgot to throw them out. Respawn. I respawned at the beach, I think. Okay, my pals are here now, so we should be able to go and attack. There's a chest here. We found some like manta rays. Are these guys going to attack now? I've lost everything, haven't I? Come on, guys. Kill the kitty! Attack it! He's running away. We need those. Going in for the kill. Come on sheep. There we go. We now have a battle look. If I had a ball I could capture these.
Good job. Look at these rays. There's like a fox there, Firefox. I guess I need to go back and get all my loot. Can we attack this thing? He's running away. Oh, hello. Like a giant llama. Chest. Gold coins, some bread. So I need a fast travel to get back to my base. Okay guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you can see, this works with the UVR mod. No messing. You can tweak it if you want to, but the, uh, the basic injection just works. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I need to learn this game now. What's that thing? It's a penguin. Kill it! Let's go clubbing! So these guys have got like different spells look. He would be good for my defense. He's got ranged weapons and he can freeze creatures. I need to head back and get some more orbs. See you later.